to a citizen, fool. Citizen to a citizen, fool. Key to light. Another one. And now, our feature presentation. Previously on Citizen 2A Citizen. Alright guys, welcome back. So, I need your help with this. This is one of the SBRs that got transitioned from an APR. And I'm changing out the stuff. Alright citizens, welcome back. Uh, like the title said, we are going to be doing some, well... A unboxing uh, so I guess you can tell by the thumbnail um, which buttstock uh, I went with for the uh, for the SBR for the, uh, the AR10 SBR the seven and a half or 7.75 inch build um, I want to give a, a, a big shout out to everybody that responded and, and provided feedback uh, uh, what they thought would be best for this build um, and, and you know for this build anyway without further ado we'll do a real unboxing this just came today got it off of the front porch at around 10 o'clock this morning uh, as scheduled the order was placed on Monday uh, and they got it to me uh, today at 10. Uh, let's see. All right, packing slip. Let's clear that. The box is solid. It came, I mean, you saw me just open it. It came kind of like this. Now, I'm already seeing something that concerns me. I got this brand new, not used from grab a gun grab a gun is pretty uh nothing else huh fab defense fab defense could have gave me a sticker sheesh anyway let me show you what i'm seeing right off the right off the bat okay you can look right there on the edges now that looks like it's i don't know it's either used or somebody was banging on this. That's what I get from this. Huh. Well, uh, oh yeah, this is, I can see some dirt in here. All right. Yeah, this, this might have been used. I'll go ahead and call them and, and give them some feedback. Well, yeah, you could tell. I don't know. I'll, I'll call them and give them some feedback. Anyway, this is the uh, this is the Core CP. So this is the Fab Defense GL Core DP in Desert. Um, it feels solid as hell, and just like I thought, this with the rubber, very very nice, heavy duty rubber here. This is not uh, some flimsy stuff here. The CP in this stands for Cheek Piece. Okay, um, oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, this is used. They're gonna have to, they're gonna have to talk to me about something. Anyway, so the way it comes, you have these two pieces here, uh, and you'll see in here, COM R and then COM L. This is basically uh, commercial, right? Commercial left, and what's already installed in there is mil spec. So if you have a wiggle on here, uh, if your tube is in, is in a mil spec and it's commercial, you could switch these out and um, and put in the put in the others. It feels hefty. Uh, let's see how much this weighs. Power. This weighs a whopping 14.3 ounces. Let me see how much this weighs. Well, I guess I should, well, you know what? Let me take this off, off camera. Let's see. So this 
So off camera, let's see how much this weighs. <laughs> half. So I just increased the weight by half, 7.3 ounces. That's fine. Um, I'd rather that that uh, and stability. Now you can see that it's a different color. Uh, this one's lighter than this. And to be honest, this one's a better color match, but I don't, I don't really, I don't really care. So let's see how it looks on the, see how it looks on the, uh, on the uh, fire. So let's see. So let's read the instructions on how to get it on because it's not. So for example, to get this on. You, you pull this whole thing down, you can slip it on. Well, that's not the case with this. Uh, I don't know if I have to take something off. Let's see what it says. Make sure the correct inserts are in. Uh, yeah, correct inserts are in. Slide the buttstock onto the end of the buffer tube. Press down on the retention lever. Press down. Pressing down. Press down on retention. Slide your finger underneath the back end of the retention. Pause. Pause. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Slide your finger underneath the back end of the retention and bring it away from the buttstock, lowering the retention pin. Oh, okay. There it is. It's on. Oh, and it's tight. <laughs> Let me go ahead and show Claire real quick. We're clear. Uh, still haven't taken it to the range, so there's no bolt in there, so we're clear, clear. So there you have it. There's no wiggle. Um, it's very, very, very tight. Very tight. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Yeah, but you know what? That looks good. That's what she said. Let's see if you can take a look at that. Damn, son. That looks really good. You have your adjustable cheek rest up here, um, which I know is going to come in handy. So you can see it's this dirt there. Uh, it's got that scratch right there. Um, yeah, we're going to have to. We're gonna have to have a conversation uh, with these guys. Um, so I'll take this off for now because I'm gonna take some pictures. I'm gonna contact uh, Fab, De not Fab Defense, contact Grab a Gun because that's where it came from. And they're great. They're like a, they're like an optics planet or, or primary arms or any of those uh, uh, places that sell uh, accessories, ammunition, um, you know, parts and stuff. Uh, I mean, it came fast. I would prefer, you know, if I pay for a brand new <laughs> buttstock, I paid full price for it, that I not get a used one. And this is clearly used. So um, that's it. Listen, thanks for checking it out. Again, thanks to my viewers that, that voted uh, on this. I'll be taking it out this weekend, getting some range footage. Uh, maybe make a quick video doing that, but um, I mean, this is this is gonna live on the on the uh, the AR10, the seven and a half inch uh, AR10. So look forward to that. I'll be doing another one. I've got a seven and a half inch 556 five, that I, I want to get feedback on. So that'll be the next video in the series. I'll. I'll have that out by this weekend and we can decide on the next one what upgrades we should do to that uh, aside from just getting the uh, the the buttstock or the brace changed out all right guys thanks for watching until next time talk to you soon Another one.